Hey yo, it's really the dogs here. Um, nothing trouble. The screen recorders, so I'm just using the Game Boy. But just have to show you this. Look, this is Texas Spring Palace, Fort Worth, 1889. Does that look anything like you've ever seen built in Texas? There's Texas Star and all the up. Oops, Can't you zoom in on that? Oh, come on there. Eh? Oh, come on, signal. You can't go over there. I'm sorry, folk. Oh, when it's windy. Look! The Corn Palace, Sioux City, Iowa, 1890. What's going on here? They just scream start early on these buildings, don't they? What's going on? This is off. That's Moscow there, eh? that, but still look at that. Library of Parliament and Rare of the Centre Block, Ottawa, Ontario, 1916. That's Canada, 1916. Feeding the shit people, aren't they? Have more proof of it. Look at this and all that's all much more full of view, don't it? Look at the floor. Right inside. Top of these turrets and towers and steeples are all. Kick it out. Big obelisk there as well. Look at scale of it as well. It's just don't ring true, does it, to what we know. Constantinople, Turkey, eighteen fifty seven. So how come these guys can take photographs in eighteen fifties and get people no bother? No blurred. Quite good images, fact free. <laughs> no, these pictures of what you've shown now, just they've got some of some wires. Well, that is basically same story. Built in through different lands and cultures all the time. I don't. It's who knows. But look, there's paintings and sculptures, and they're all depicting more or less the same image. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. That's a good picture of those. I'd love to go to Turkey, you know, but recently everything. Seems to land in Turkey. I'm trying not to like, bash the screen because I've got my um, speaker plugged in, so it's really loud when I touch the keyboard. And the dogs walk past the computer and bang it and stuff, you know, while well, the table that the computer is on. Look at that guy there. He appears to be scuba diving. Sorry. Oh, that's a big picture though. A Syrian traversing the waterways with a breathing apparatus circa 900 BC. Mm. And a Syrian bas relief stone panel from the palace of Ashu Narsipal. Sorry about the pronunciation. Found in ancient Kalu, northern Iraq. One of the first underwater photographs, Louis Bouton, 1893. The first ever underwater photograph was by William Thompson in Dorset, UK, 1856. Apparently. 
Miss Bernhardt, the Ocean Express, 1880, with a person in a deep, si deep sea diving outfit by her side. I think they were just kinky back then, or what? Oof. Oh, there's a good link there and all. I'll look at that later. The strange and wonderful history of diving suits from 1715 to today. Hmm. That's steampunk as fuck, innit? Look at that thing! Chester E. McDuffie and his creation, the diver suit, 1911. I had a fucking plastic toilet like that with lights on it all the way up. Not as big as that, obviously. Kim Robot or what? He's got a hook in his hand. And the one's a pincher. Pincer, I think. Egyptish Pish. Oh my god. Pyramidum. Of Alfred Dapper, 1670. Amsterdam physician. Physician, sorry. Alfred Dapper's rendering of the pyramids in Egypt. Um, was part of his work's description of Africa, although Offer never actually visited Africa. What's that fucking... I love the half buried giant woman I presume she's talking about. Let's see, yeah. Yeah, this is usual. Oh, fuck this thing. It's drawing. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Eyes up and be saying, oh, look there, 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 you know what I mean? They'd be hitting us with what's fucking going on here, wouldn't they? Look at them paws. Yeah, lines going down. That right port bottom, that right corner. Yeah. Old Kingdom Step Pyramid of Medium Egypt, circa 1900. That's the one that's got me. I should I should have found it really and show it in a vlog. There's a picture of Wise Ups. You see the pyramids and they look like little blips on a landscape and it's a far off shot like a panoramic shot where the pyramids appear they sat on huge massive oblong blocks you can see it clear as day in this picture like that it blew me away just that picture alone it, I don't know I guess. abandoned the anti-ballistic missile defence system North Dakota the Stanley R. Mickelson Safeguard Complex was a United States Army anti-ballistic missile system developed in the late 1960s. Opened in April 75, the complex was deactivated after less than a year in February 76. Less than a year. Kazan, Republic of Tatarstan, Russia. Memorial Temple to the Russian soldiers who fell at the conquest of Kazan in 1552. If it ever loads up, I'm sorry people. Anyone who is watching, I'm sure people who watch my shit. I apologise. And um, leave you watching. Um, be busy. This week, you should be getting a letter go about Wednesday or Thursday. I don't think it's going to show us it. I'll turn on to the next one to see if we can have any joy. Congress of Freaks, P.T. Barnum's Travelling Freak Show, New York, 1924. That's not matching the... Nah, that's the Russian Kazan Republic of Tatarstan in Russia, the moral temple to the... Russian soldiers who fell at the conquest of Kazan in 1552. Does that mean that was built down the battle after then? Well, it was obviously built after the You don't know how to do it these days. Who the fuck knows for sure? It's always three in it. Three doorways. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Always 
nice looking tree. Set of scales. P.T. Bynum's Freak Show. It went right with it, and there's a. Well, I don't know, the medical women, I suppose, isn't there? Did they? Travel well, and I don't know. Look at that lady there on the. the half lady there. Three saxophone girls. And the weird guy, then the lady in the long black book dress, and then that lady just on the table. Oh, well, that's just. Just a tiny wee guy here, from the little kid next to the big enormous guy, the big belly, weird, uh, your hairy face guy, hairy face woman, bearded lady, I think. Alistair Crowley look like weird all. Sword swallower on the left. Strong woman or some weird all. Don't know. Only, I'm not even gonna guess what they've got him doing. Playing the fucking violin. Dressed in a monkey suit, what the fuck the hell? He's dead tall, obviously. Stay the obvious Rudy. He's a weak gangster with his mouths. <laughs> oh man, that's fucked up there. Eh? Barnum and Bailey, the greatest show on earth. Yeah, the original post, well, the original post is worth a fucking minute. In good condition, like that. Look at the dogs. And then the wheels. I'm sure you must have used dogs for pulling carts at one point. Like, more than just sleds. Like, carts as well. I don't know. Poor man's horse, isn't it, dogs? They used to say, Johan Peterson, the Icelandic giant, 7 foot 8 inches. Fucking hell. Can size that sword? You know, as big as that weird guy. Also known as the Viking King. No, oh, sorry, the Viking Giant. He was the tallest Icelandic man on record. In addition to being a circus performer, he starred in several movies, most notably. Prehistoric women, 1950, but he played the role of a giant caveman. He's a fucking huge guy. Sorry, he's huge, yeah. I that Feb's had that image, I think. Ivan Markov, giant Russian Cossack. See, they Cossacks, eh? I think they're Tartarian culture, I don't know, that they stole Tartarian culture, I don't know, who knows that? Eh? But it's clearer and clearer every day that they wiped us out, that they wiped us earlier out of history. There's no denying it now, is there? The French giant, Charles Cotlet Elias Joseph de Sceaux, 7 foot 6 and a half, 1910. He died at the age of 29 in Lyon, France, according to a newspaper, Le Lyon Republicain. He died from a cardiac embolism, although at his funeral in Saint-Afrique, France, several witnesses watched a coffin weighing around 500 kilograms being lowered down and immediately noticed it was much shorter than the official giant's length, and when the coffin tipped slightly, a thud of stones could be heard. This convinced almost everybody who attended the funeral that the body of Henry Cort was not inside the coffin. Apparently his manager had sold Henry Cort's body to a professor of medicine in Montpellier to make money from him one last time. And now the skeleton of Henry Cort, Joseph de Sorp, is exhibited in the medical school of Montpellier and labelled as a non giant. Bit of like story there. Thank you, old world. Got the article link there. Ah, so Captain Kirk and others have shown things like this. Eh? The camera obscura. So, so the paintings and shit like. The Earth is flat. We live inside a magnetic field that creates a field 
sphere with everything revolving around the Earth. A good one there. Shall we take it, folks? I can't pause on this. Till the film, I'm just it's a one shot deal. It's a game bar recorder. So I don't think it's going to be any good. I used to worry about like revealing myself online and stuff like that, but I'm not bothered anymore. It's okay. Okay. Wow. I don't know if um Flutter of Bridge have got this, I imagine they have. I imagine Flutter of Bridge was all over this already. I don't think I've come across anything new here, but if I have, then. Oh, good, eh? Seen that before as well. Designed for long distance panoramic shots, the camera weighs 1400 pounds, 16, sorry, 640 kilograms, and used a 4.5 by 8 foot glass plate negative, world's largest camera, 900. And these have all been on Feb's stuff and all this, you know, flat earth British basically think tank and Associates. San Francisco in ruins panoramic kite photograph 906 taken from the George R. Lawrence captive air ship 2000 feet above San Francisco Bay capturing the entire city of San Francisco after the earthquake using an ingenious system of kites. Maybe the first ever drawn for or no I don't fucking think so. I think we're going a lot longer than that. Excuse This is a photo of time travellers, time of truth is came and they are performing their task. Uh, International ballooning contest, Aero, Aero Park, Chicago, 1908. My grandma was born in 1907, uh, she's dead now. Obviously. You know, I'd love to have a conversation with you now. Asking more questions, but I was always quest asking questions anyway when I was young, and she used to get pissed off me then. Right. British airship R33 preparing for launch, Barlow, Yorkshire, 1919. My link is there, Madam Satan, 1930. YouTube. <coughs> I can see what that is, eh? Can I see that? See that? Oh. Anyway. God, I took up 20 minutes just looking through these. Where are you starting here? It's fucking ominous, eh? The Graf Zeppelin over the Reichstag building, Berlin, 1928. There's a link there and all that is. YouTube links, but come back and I'll do it now. Cause but the site's there anyway on um, Facebook. Look at that. Just look at that. Come on now. Atlantean at the entrance of the Hermitage, St. 
Petersburg, 1931. That St. Petersburg, what the fuck went on there? What, just what the actual fuck happened? Will we ever know? Look at that! I'm tired of people! Come on now! Crazy, eh? The Colossus of Rhodes, one of the seven wonders of the old world. The Colossus of Rhodes was a giant statue of the Greek sun god Helios, erected on the Greek island in the city of Rhodes. Said to be constructed in 292 BC and destroyed in 226 BC, so they fucking say. Martin would be screaming at us. No. Helios was said to be the son of the Titan Hyperion and Titaness Thea, making him a second generation Titan who is believed to have shaped the island of Rhodes, a place where people honoured him as a deity. Legend has it that when the island first came into being, it was muddy and uninhabitable. Helios dried the land and filled it with life. When the island first came into being, it was muddy. Helios dried it and filled it with life. That's pretty fucking mud footage to me. Statue of Liberty, yeah, Statue of Liberty Torch, Barfolded Workshop, France, 1876. Look at it. Starfort, I'm a fucking Starfort. Couldn't get enough pentagrams on it, could Fucking crescent moon. Statue of Liberty. They must be pissing themselves when they did that. Built on the remnant of Fort Wood. Now Liberty Island. It's even called Liberty Island. Was it not originally Bedlaw's Island? Ellis Island it was originally. So, I'm just common to what you see. Sorry. Oh, it's just stop Oh, they're impenetrable, aren't they? They're fucking for. That's not just for people, keeping people and weapons back. It. It's too precise, it's too mirrored, it's too exact. It's like that, it's purpose, everything is for a purpose. You could draw a line anywhere on that and it'd mirror, it's all symmetrical and it? it's just too much symmetry. You could put a half line through that anywhere and it'd reflect the same back. I'm guessing. I don't know. Fucking some of them with them in there, obviously. You can theorise all day, but it ain't what we fucking tell us anyway. Seen that before, it's quite a famous picture, isn't it? Shaman, it's probably amazing Kwakuti tribe of British Columbia, circa 1914. Koskimo person, Kwakuti, oh, I can't even pronounce that next one. 
wearing a full body fur garment, oversized gloves, and mask of hammy during the, the New Milan ceremony by Edward S. Curtis. The Order Park of Palazzo Orsini from Arzo, Italy, 1952, Herbert List Photography. The Zai Kalakal Bell, I Zai Bell, Moscow, Russia, 1880. Someone got sacked out there, didn't they? Then just drop a clang there, they drop the whole fucking bell. It's gone 25 minutes, so I'm just gonna flip through these now. I think you've seen before though, that's mental. Well, I've gotta go back to that one more. I know you've probably all seen this, but who the fuck got that up there? How did these guys get that and make it? How did they forge that for a start and the bell? But that link, forging that link, even if you put them cross members, them bracing to oh, what they look wood, don't they? Even just putting them up. It's a fucking nightmare. So, we're not fuck all. Believed to be built prior to the 5th millennium BC and still populated today, this 8,000 year old fortress in the centre of Erbil. Or Bila, Iraq, is possibly the longest continuously inhabited cities in the world. And there it is today. Well, in more recent times. It's not changed much. Apart from the north of it, or the top of it, is all fucking built up now. Whereas there it's not, is it? Much more still fields and pasture there. Now it's fucking. Been citified. I don't know if I can put this vlog out, I think it's too long. That's a belting picture, why is it showing that on here? I'm amongst others as well, but why is it first person ever since it's shown me that? See, that's fucking prehistoric. Look how technical that is. How technically advanced all this is. And it's prehistoric. Prehistoric, prehistory. Yet, yeah, we see fucking flawless design, mathematics, engineering, skill. But it's pre-history. How is that? Come on now. Look. Excavations at the site were conducted between 68 and 74 by the German Archaeological Institute until the construction of the Keban Dam and the entire area. Flooded. The 5,000 year old 626 hectare archaeological site of the sacred city of Carlisle Soup overlooking the valley of Soup River dates back to the late archaic period of the Central Andes and is the oldest known centre of civilization in the Americas. Again, 5,000 years. <laughs> right, just going back one night. See how it's all squared. And everything's built up. Well, if these were just like ground floor dwellings, all that, they wouldn't need to be regimentally square. They wouldn't need to be so uniform. There'd be no need for such exactness. The only reason you build it stuff exactly so you can build on top of it. Like there are steps in order. And that's far advanced, obviously, 5,000 years ago, from what they tell us. 
That's how the window, the official story now, and it's all even they admit that now. The British is Shadman Malik, Muraza Rabat, Uzbekistan, 1871. Police have been built in 1502. See, so look at the design of that and the technology of that, the fucking ancient Roman style bridge. See that? I can believe that. Like, this is nothing fantastic. It is, but. That, compared to that, is not a contest, is it? How the fuck did they do it like this one, right? You can pretty much guess how they did it, or not. But you can, you can understand that being built, you can, you, my brain can accept that, but that one, 5,000, well, 500 years ago, 500 years ago, before concrete proper, before fucking trucks, before, you know, and just the shape of it, that. Just everything. Oh, wait. That's relatively simple compared to the other one's point I'm making, right? Fireplaces again. History of, of alternative energy. Tartaria in four. Did a vlog about the fireplaces ages ago, but. It wasn't very good, but it was, it was there. The giant Buddha of Bohemian Grove, a 70 foot tall statue of Buddha that once sat in the Sequoia Valley, was modelled after Dabutsu of Kamankuru, a 13th century bronze Buddha in Japan, later to be replaced by the owl in the late 1920s. So Bohemian Grove had a Buddha and they swapped it for the fucking Moloch owl. Right. Child murdering bastard. Boyman Grove, said to be constructed in the 20s, this 44-hour monolith stands as a ceremonial centrepiece in the cremation of care, where a human effigy is sacrificed. Copy of creepy bastards. It comes from in our world. Right. I'm going to stop because it's going too long, right? And it's not loading up anyway. Atrocious, as usual. Right, to carry on. Take it easy. This is far longer than you expected. Oh, there we go, we've got it. Hey, there's loads of links anyway on this page. It's on Facebook, it's called The Old World. And um, it's just easy to go through, a good site. Eh? Interesting stuff. Right. See you all later. Take care. Cutie bye.